Hey guys, Matt here with Matt Wayne Adventures. Thank you for clicking the video. And today, well, tonight, it is not time. We're actually on a camping trip, and I paused the video to make this video on the cooler AC or camp cooler, camp AC, whatever you want to call it there. It's got many names, I'm sure. But it's basically a cooler with two holes in the top. Fan goes in one, air comes up the other with ice in the bottom. So technically the fan blows over the ice up through the other hole. I'll show you in just a second. All right, so I have this right here. As you can see, it's a normal size cooler. It, it's an igloo cooler I really didn't like. I wasn't crazy about, I just had it just for spare. And I thought, why not use this one to try this out with? But you can see here, I got this $15 fan from Walmart in the hole right here. You can see just a, any fan will do. And you'll need to cut the hole, you know, about the size of the fan. And over here is a six inch hole. A lot of people put pipe on this, you know, make it look kind of nice and neat. I didn't do that because I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know if it worked anyway. It's just a trial run, but we are camping right now. As you can see right here, I'll give you proof here. 80 degrees inside the camper. And it's actually pretty doable in here. Like I, pro I probably could hang out in here for the rest of the evening. And it is 10 o'clock at night now. But I also have the Azal's fan running right up here. That is blowing in. So we do have that helping us out. But I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. Maybe we'll, we'll see about an hour. We'll see what happens. But really this is simple as it can be guys. It's a cooler, two holes, a fan, and some ice. So if it works, we're in good shape. Cause it, the inverter on the battery could run this this fan I'm running. So in other words, I could boondock with this and you know, if it, if it works. So we'll see, time will tell. So back to this cooler last night. I actually, before I could show y'all what it cooled down to, I fell asleep. <laughs> and I apologize for that, but I got comfortable. But I can say that it honestly got down to about 77, 78 because of this. Because what I done was, it was 82 when I got in the camper. I put this in there and it got down to 78. And I didn't think it was working. I thought maybe just cooling down because the outdoor at this high temperature. I pulled this out and it went back up to 83. Okay. So clearly this was working. So I put this back in there and it brought it back down, back down to 78. So it didn't bring it down a whole lot, but it did bring it down enough to sleep. So does this work? Yes, it does. Something good to keep in mind, guys. I a cooler, two holes, and a fan and ice. And you might can survive the night in a camper without air conditioner. So, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.